Let's start off today with the obvious. God is amazing. No, I'm not going to stop there. <laughs> I could. I probably should. Um, I had, as I tried to do, I'd worked all week preparing homily for this gospel, and I had finally settled on, I found a couple of stories dealing with the way that we tend to expect things for ourselves in much the same way that James and John did. And just how very often when things don't work out the way we want them to, we have a tendency to blame others because they didn't meet my expectations. They didn't do what I thought they should do. And then, in yesterday's mail, it just happened that I received something, and it was part of an advertisement, but when I finally looked at it, read it, God, this is an incredible gift. Thank you. I'll, I'll accept your gift. I'll use your gift today. I think most of you are familiar with what's called the serenity prayer. And I encourage people very often if they're struggling to turn to that to make use of it. Because if you remember the serenity prayer, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So in that prayer, you're praying for three specific graces. Serenity, courage, and wisdom. And when we pray to God, it's important that we pray for specific graces. But then as I got this new gift, I realized the, the shortcoming of the serenity prayer is that it doesn't really address who we are, how we tend to deal with difficulties in our lives. Because when I need serenity, it's usually not just about things, it's not about situations. I need serenity in terms of other people. And I need serenity from my own expectations that I am placing on them. I need courage, not so much to change a situation, but taking it closer to home. And so this gift that I refer to you, it's the, the new serenity prayer. It was written by Father James Martin, Jesuit, that uh, is just a wonderful contemporary religious scholar. He redid the serenity prayer, and I think it's something, if we're, we're honest, we can say, oh, boy, I need to pay attention to that. You know, as I said, we, we're so quick 
the point. It's out there. It's them. It's whatever. But the old reminder that when I'm pointing one finger out, there are three fingers pointing back at me. Anyway. God, grant me the serenity to accept the people I cannot change, which is pretty much everyone, since I'm clearly not you, God, at least not the last time I checked. And while you're at it, God, please give me the courage to change what I need to change about myself, which is frankly a lot, since once again I'm not you, which means I'm not perfect. It's better for me to focus on changing myself than to worry about changing other people, who, as you'll no doubt remember me saying, I can't change anyway. Finally, give me the wisdom to just shut up whenever I think that I'm clearly smarter than everyone else in the room, that no one knows what they're talking about except me, or that I alone have all the answers. Basically, God, grant me the wisdom to remember that I'm not you. Amen.